Hey guys, I'm in a mall called the Waterfront Mall. It's, it's like the main mall and it's so modern. Here they have a thing called Biltong. It's um, beef jerky and um, they're kind of health conscious here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. You can see that they've got like nuts, which you're not supposed to eat on keto. But then way back there in the back there, that's like dried beef jerky. It's called Biltong. People really, it's really known for uh, South Africa's like snacks. Problem is most of it's cured in sugar, so you still can't win for losing. This mall, like, I don't even feel like I'm in Africa at all. Look at this stuff. Okay, this might make you feel that you're in Africa, but it's like so friggin' like prefab, like, there's cute little healthy little spots to eat everywhere. I mean, well, there's coffee places, but um, this place is called the Wellness House. Everybody in South Africa, in South Africa, is like, yeah, we already know this place. They tend to have everything. I think there was a place that I wanted. There was some stuff. I got some flax meal here, and. Uh, it's so funny because these women, I gotta show these women, they're all staring at me like crazy. They're like, what's she doing? <laughs> Look at that, they're all still staring. <laughs> I had to show them though. Um, but uh, yeah, so on that side is the health food store. And then on this side is a little cafe. I mean, they got spots that we don't have. It's kind of crazy. Um, anyway, it's like, what do I do? I need anything there? I don't think so. I think I got everything. I think I'm straight. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is their shopping mall. I mean, Africa is still a place where people will rob you on the street, but then it's just so modern here in South Africa. It's bizarre. This place is the twilight zone. But at the end of the day, I love to travel because you guys know that um, you know that you learn something, right? I live in LA. Like you say LA. You say to someone, I live in LA, here they go, oh, California. And uh, it's, it's, it's like, it's so spotless and clean here in Cape Town, it's beautiful. But um, ain't nothing like the US. We're very, very, very lucky to live in the US. Um, that's it, you guys, I'm just doing an impromptu. The Wi-Fi here sucks, it's super modern. Like this shit's modern as hell. Everybody's all funky fly, everyone. The Africans, the Indians, the, they call them colored here, which I can't stand, so I'd be considered a colored person. Everybody's funky fresh, everybody's super modern, but yeah, it's still Africa. Uh, I'm looking for bathrooms, yeah. Let's see here, we got it. Right. Upstairs. All right, peace out, guys. Coming to Australia, March to April. Uh, yeah, I'm kinda tired, not gonna lie. But I still got energy. I'm coming. <laughs> um, first dates in Melbourne, March the 15th, and then the second one is Sydney the 25th, third, Brisbane, fourth, Perth. And then I'm gonna go home and got some big stuff to talk about and do. All right, this is the mall. I'm about to peace out, guys. Yeah, I feel like, like, you just feel like you're in the States. You don't even feel like you're in Africa. But if you actually travel outward to the Zulu Nation area, you'll start to feel more like you're in Africa. We're some of the surrounding African countries, but I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty modern here. I'm not gonna lie. But the climate is perfect and it's beautiful, and it's still Africa, even though this mall is too modern for me.